Today, I feel like making elephants. Also, the deli salt in it, but mostly elephants, okay? So they have a beautiful unit. Where is it? Is it in the, yeah, it's in the archery range called the Tower of War Elephants. Look at these guys. Once you get them out, they're extremely good. They're just also stupidly expensive. 400 food, 600 gold each. They're ultra lists, but then like actually ultra. So the Delhi Sultanates stay many steps ahead of their enemies with a great network of scholars. Okay, so a couple things about the Delhi. All of their research is free. So, all of the upgrades, that includes the wheelbarrow, that includes the upgrades for the units, the blacksmith, all of it. All of their upgrades are free. The problem is that they're very slow to research, but they don't cost you any money, which is pretty good. So research can be stopped and resumed, but it progresses at a much slower rate without the help of religious scholars. Okay. Buildings constructed within the influence of a mosque benefit from faster research speed based on how many scholars are garrisoned. All right, so they have two unique units. The Scholar, when garrisoned inside of a mosque, Scholar speed up technology research time. And secondly, the War Elephant, high health and damage unit with a strong siege attack. So, Holy Sites are extremely helpful, just because you do tend to get at least a couple of mosques and also a couple of Scholars. So because of that, like you probably wanna make like three Scholars or so per mosque that you produce. Uh, because of that, going for Holy Sites and getting that gold bonus is pretty helpful. So there's an upgrade you can get in the first age, in the dark age, that allows scholars to capture sacred sites before the castle age. And then sacred sites generate plus 100% more gold. Okay, so if you want to go for holy sites, we definitely want to be getting the sanctity upgrade. Yeah, so if I'm not mistaken, with age 2, you pretty much always go Dome of the Faith. It produces scholars at minus 50% cost from that specific landmark, which is very good because scholars are extremely good. With H3, you usually, I think, go House of the Learning, if I'm not mistaken. So it grants no immediate bonus other than advancing to the next age, but it contains many unique economic and religious upgrades. Ooh. Delhi Sultanate versus Abbasid Dynasty. Not a very common matchup. Feels like a lot of people didn't get the memo today that the French and English are considered to be the best. Everyone's just kind of winging it. Going for a variety of strats, which I really, really like. Okay, we'll go seven on food. Two gold over here, would you look at that. Berry bushes over here too, which is also pretty good. Look at all these life stonks. So we want to make sure that we can position our musk so it influences the berries, but also... Uh, the gold mine over there, and I think this will work out perfectly. Maybe, you know what, if I put the, the mill over there, I think I can even influence a lumber camp, which would be really nice. Either way, we'll start with that. And then go from there. Ooh, look at that, life stonks, baby! Very nice. Honestly, very good. Very good start here for me. We'll put three right here on food. Or sorry, three right here on gold, seven on food, and then we'll go into some uh, some lumber. So again, with the deli, all the upgrades are free. They just take way longer than they normally would. You don't have to pay for them, but still feels kind of expensive. We'll go into a lumber camp. I think a mosque over here will work out perfectly for me. <laughs> uh, we'll go into a uh, a mill as well. So the Delhi Sultanate also benefit from the berry bushes. You get twice as much from berry bushes, or out of berry bushes. I think they harvest it ever so slightly quicker as well, which is also basically making the worst way of getting resources in this game a little bit better. <clears throat> okay. We'll go to wheelbarrow upgrade. 
And then we'll go from there. At 100 lumber, I'm going to be going into a mosque. And at 400 food, we'll be going into H2. Protected. Thank yes. you very much, boss. Destroy all comers. Yeah, we just destroy everything, dude. Win all the ways, or all the, all the things. Uh, yeah, Dome of the Faith. Can I still fit a mosque over here? All right, I guess that, that works. <laughs> Not ideal. Anyways. Thank you for your resup. So we need a lot of lumber once we get to the second age. Oh, looks like my opponent was just here, so... Probably won't find too many sheep in that area. So I just got the, uh, the mill right now just for upgrades. Okay, we'll start up all those upgrades as well. Going for the one that allows me to capture sacred sites in the second age a little bit sooner than the rest. And then obviously we also want to make sure that we go for another house. Okay, so that should speed up these upgrades a little bit. Yeah, at least a little bit quicker. Do need a little bit of gold as well by the time that my uh, next age is done. Not a whole lot, but we want to be able to make the scholars out of the Dome of the of Faith. Okay, the only thing I haven't scouted yet is my opponent. <laughs> this is fine. Don't need to scout if you don't know what you're scouting for anyway, right? Go ahead. <clears throat> Go and check out what they're doing. Uh, so there's three sacred sites on this map. We've already found all three of them right there on the mini-map, which is nice. We can also send our scholars in that direction to get some additional gold income. Okay, he's reached feudal age. Uh, Abbasid does have access to camels, as we learned the hard way. Pretty early on. And it makes them very scary. So... I do want to make sure that I uh, get some archery uh, going relatively quickly as well. I think I'm going to send one more of you guys. Maybe two more of you guys over there. Because we have enough. Actually, we'll send all of you guys. I'll send you back afterwards. Because I am a little bit late right now. Need to make a bunch of stuff. As soon as the, this age structure finishes. Hey, thank you, uh, Arcane Flyer. Thank you for your reset. Welcome. And thank you, Leithrinus, for five community subs. New subscriber detected. Okay. We know where he's at. Thank you, Peter. Very generous. Okay. And we want to go... Blacksmith. Uh, Blacksmith. Uh, not over there. Blacksmith. There you go. Archery range. Archery range. Okay, so this is going to be hotkey 6. This is going to be hotkey 5. And we should be able to start getting a couple units out. I will go for a tower over here as well, just because there's a good chance my opponent is going to try and attack me. There we go. So you guys are hotkey 5. You guys are hotkey 6. Making a bunch of additional scholars over here. Queue up that upgrade. Go. Both of the archery upgrades, which again are free. Extra house. We'll queue up these upgrades too. Uh, no, I do want to get that one first. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, and now we start producing. All right, all right, all right. I think that was a better transition than what I've normally done. It's obviously still extremely greedy, so I don't know exactly if it's going to work out for me, but at least we didn't do a terrible job, I don't think. Okay. Okay, I did queue up a little bit too much, though. Not allowing me right now to make a whole lot of archers. We do need to make those. Okay. So camels are kind of scary. But I think this is okay. Should probably make another one of those lumber camps over here once I have the resources for it. 
Okay, we'll go and continue scouting again. I don't really know exactly what he's up to, but... For now, things are going alright for me. Eventually, I would like to go up towards War Elephants. Which would be pretty nice. Okay, and we'll try and take control of one of those sacred sites. There's an archery range of his. Okay. So maybe man at arms would be nice if we can get there. If he's got archery ranges, I think we can actually move out. Especially since I have quite a good set of upgrades here. 1-1 one, one is just about to finish up for my dudes. Alright. I think I will go for a move out. Okay. Sending everything out right now. Okay, capturing that sacred site, which is gonna force him to move. If he doesn't, I'm gonna get free gold, which, you know, I wouldn't mind. I'll be honest with you, uh, it'll be fine. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll take that one as well. It is a win condition. Oh god, so he does have a lot of troops. For some reason, I didn't see any stables, but... Okay. Try and split. Okay, good. Very good. Very good. This high ground over here is actually very helpful too. Uh, killed a ton of his units. I don't really feel too comfortable to just go and like hang out there for a lot longer. But at the very least this makes things a bit easier for us. Uh, let's send... Five of you over here, too. Okay. Uh, I gotta be careful that I don't, like, overextend here, though. Okay, you know what? I think I'm just gonna leave my scout over here. And I will control, uh, control the high ground. I mean, I can send a scout or uh, one of my holy units over there, too. Okay. Pretty cheap, actually. I keep thinking that's actually quite expensive, but it's not really too bad. Then we'll make a wall over there on that right side of the map, too. If you guys could do the same thing over here, that would be awesome. We'll just make it hard for him to really get much done. Make it hard for him to go around. Oh. Okay. You guys return to work. Alright. At the same time, I do also want to make a couple of these things. Okay. So sadly, he did find some of my units there. But that's okay. Good. This buys me a lot of time. I didn't make a house, didn't I? I hope so. Yeah, I did. Okay. I'll get that upgrade going as well for them. I've got a lot of gold right now, by the way. Holy shit, that's just because of those relics. Or these holy sites, rather. He's already reached the castle age. Which makes us all a little scary, but... I'm gonna leave the holy sites alone. I have a bunch of time anyway before uh, my opponent gets cheeky. Let's make a let's make a um, a marketplace because I would like to buy some food here to go up to watch castle myself. Should be good. Uh, we'll move on over in that direction, I guess, with some of you guys. Maybe over there. Should be good. Okay, marketplace. Okay, 
Okay. <clears throat> so I can't make spearmen right now. I'm gonna go and buy some food. There we go. I will make the House of Learning. It's my tier 3 structure. I will start producing a bunch of spearmen as well. Tower over there too. Okay, we need a lot of food. Honestly, I can just buy more, I guess. We'll make this Hotkey 7. Okay. That's just because we've had those holy sites. They give you a passive boost for income, which is pretty sweet. Hope I'm not playing too greedy, but I think it's going decently well so far. I wouldn't be surprised though if he goes for an all-out assault pretty quick. Did he call me the baddie? <laughs> Body. Okay, so he's neutralizing one of the sites. Okay, he's got a, a large army over here. Trying to make a war elephant. Okay. We just have to hold. If you can hold, it's gonna be fine. The only problem is holding. Okay, he's neutralizing the other holy site. Okay. War elephant just about to be out. There's a war elephant. Okay, looks like we live. Uh, I wanted to make some more uh, war elephants, to be honest. They are just extremely expensive. I guess I don't have that much gold income because I was kind of reliant now on these uh, holy sites. Okay. Get these upgrades going. Uh, armor upgrades first. Queue everything up. Send one of you guys over there. Okay, go. Make a new war elephant. War elephants deal a lot of siege damage. Okay, there he is. Scatter. Oh god, that Lancer is strong though. I'm going for some... Uh... Yeah, I probably need to get more man-at-arms. Okay. Sending the war elephant right there on top of the mangonel, which is probably his scariest unit. Okay, dodged. Don't want you to fire again. Good. Reinforcements have arrived. Okay, good. Capturing one more sacred site. Okay. 
dodged. Probably should have had a couple more archery ranges. But considering this is one of my first proper games with the Delhi, not going so horrible. Okay. Okay, we'll back off for a second. Make a battering ram. Siege tower. Second elephant coming up. Oh wow. <laughs> I had no idea that there was a fight going on at home. I don't think he gets a whole lot of income anymore at this point. Still a little tight though. Maybe I should make some more of these. Whoa. I have quite a bunch of gold, so I guess I'll spend some of it so I can make some more spearmen and whatnot. Okay. Reinforcing elephant. I don't even know how the siege tower works, if I'm being honest with you. I think it's for sieging walls. Pretty sure the only reason I have it right here is for BM. Very toxic streamer confirmed. Okay. So he does have a pretty scary army there in the back. I'm capturing the third sacred site too, which is another win condition. Jesus if I can hold them for 10 minutes, I also win. Okay. Get him, elephant boys! Take him down! My opponent says GG. Oh, and he leaves the game. Nice. That actually felt really good. 
I was still a little nervous there at the end that I was like very far ahead but still giving it up because I've had that mistake before. I've made that mistake before where I accidentally get in my opponent's base and I get a little bit too aggressive and then I don't look for like three seconds and I look back and all of my archers have been destroyed by his town center or like there's a couple of horses that were hiding somewhere off the side and the cavalry kills everything. <sighs> yeah, we were very far ahead but pretty happy there with how I played it in the end because... I have a tendency to get a bit too aggressive here, and there's really no reason, right? Just like with StarCraft, like when you're ahead, you probably want to try and get more ahead instead. Whew. Nice. GG.